Hello people, how are you? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. Right, welcome back to Angling and Anxiety. The time is half five in the morning. I've had all of about 20 minutes sleep. Decided I was going to sleep in the boat last night. Won't be doing that again. Freezing. Literally. My body wouldn't let me sleep any longer than 10 minutes without waking me up telling me I needed to warm up. Ugh, horrendous. It really is horrendous. I'm knackered. And now my car battery's gone dead, so that's really annoying me. Um, but yeah, we're going to go out, we're going to have a go, see if we can get a couple of rays, drive for a cod. Um, just a bit of mixed species, really, and see what we can bring up. Maybe a conga. Who knows? We've got a little weather gap. We've got a storm coming in at about three o'clock, so we're not going out far just in case it decides it's going to turn up early. Um, but yeah, we're going to get out of there, um, get set up, and jobs are good. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, the new boat's just warming up. Just bought her yesterday. It do the job, wouldn't it? No, I ain't blagging. There she is. Old Scarlet. Boys have forgot the weights. We're going, get, going back to get the leads. Nice clear water. Properly clear. But yeah. Nice sun. Nice uh, horizon. Sorry. I'm so tired, man. Honestly, I feel rotten. I'm letting Steve drive today because I ain't had enough sleep. It's on and off all night. Freezing. I need to sort my car out. The reason I come out and sleep out here is because. I, uh, my car doesn't start in the mornings. I have to charge it three times and then it will start. So I can't afford for that to happen in the morning. So what I do is I, uh, I'll come and sleep down here. But I can't keep doing it because it just ruins me. There you go, let's go out in the water. A few other boats, boats about as a charter over there. Um, we're fishing big mackerel baits, squid as big as your head. Um, hopefully, going to put a spur dog off. That's the uh, that's the target. But whether we can achieve it or not is a different question. But we're going to have a go. Getting loads of line out. This isn't a real rod I've got. Black Rock Akita Pro Sport. What they meant to be the same as? Same as a Kanzaki. Same as a Kanzaki, apparently. Whatever one of them is. But yeah, flip started. Oh. So I've got a rectangular uh, hexagon grip here. What's that like? I've got my pin. It's about all 7,000. I'm on a fixed balls today, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you in a know. Stays on to the first fish. Just as a bit of grub comes out. Nice bending up, Rob. Is it Raymond, Dad? Them little habits look like a strong one, <laughs> That's <Ram's> son. <laughs> Could be an eel. That's a ray. Holding like a ray, innit? Yeah. Well, I would do. Keep it sitting there stuffing your pie. <laughs> Got a cameraman and I need a net man. I it's wish I was like you. Definitely a ray mondo. Big bite, isn't it? Get a few blondes around here. Watch out, sloppy bollocks. Sorry, Kev. <laughs> I'm swearing. <laughs> I get used to it. I get used to it, mate, yeah. Hey, what is it? Uh, These are nice. This mark here, you've got to get the baits in the water, isn't it? This is a ray. This one's got a good one, isn't it? Yeah, if it is a ray, it's a good one. Yeah. Yep, 100% this is a Raymond. Blom rab be nice. I just old boy, didn't I? Yeah. Bad about these powerful rods, that's for sure. What class is that? Four whites. No, uh, 
Professor Riley, that if these are the 1220s, there's a plumb right. If I look a bit, I can do that, absolutely. Right. I think, I've got, I think I've hooked him at the chain. Yeah, you have, yeah. Plumb right, see it. It's a bit spotted, isn't it? Ah, I don't know, spotted, plumb right. Yeah, it's a spotty. Spotty, yeah. The spotty, what he's done, where he's tangled in the gear. There you go. No, don't worry about knitting in me. Put him in, get in there. Spotty right. First fish of the day. Lovely bit. Lovely days. Let's get one open. Lovely mouth. Spotted. Lovely days. Greedy fish. Big massive bait on that. Lovely days. Off he goes sailing into the sunset. See you later. Feeling sorry for himself. It's gone over. <laughs> Fish on. No, he ain't going to take that. You put that on his net, isn't he? Nah. Sit off the fucking seat or sit up on them seats in here, out the way. Steve, Steve's got a fish on. Don't know, though. Probably an old Fish on for Steve. You must be on the bottom if you're looking in, mate. Yeah, it's another race. There he is. What is he? Fallback, isn't he? Fallback. 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 Oh, get out of my line. Give him a minute. No, I'll pull him over. I've got every time I've had on here. Nice size, haven't he? Come on, back. Do you want to take his mile on an upside? Well, they use this. They, they, they won't cast them reels, will they? Yeah, they do. Right. You do, Jackie. Fish. <laughs> 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 we don't want him, do we? No, we don't. We'll get a picture of him. Should turn this over, Steve's in again. We're going to throw him overboard in a minute. Yeah, he's walking home. <laughs> he's walking home. He's never coming out of my boat again. It's a 32 pound bomb there, I reckon. That'd be nice, it would be going like this, mate, it'd be gone. That's a small ride. Oh, Spot. back, Spotted. Yeah. Spotted in the form back. Form back, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've had Nixes. Yeah, you make this in. It's only early. early. It's only good. Go, Jack. Yeah, I know. Fishing. I mean, he's been out then. I went out here the other day and had blonde, you yeah, didn't have like mixed, did you? Like that, <laughs> that's it, yeah, that's one of them. Me and him was, me and my mate was stuck at the table on the garden bank and he couldn't get one. I couldn't touch nothing. The more he did, the more he had the arm. Eel. A little strap, yeah. Kev, 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 Kev. Take that. Right, I'll give it, I'll take your finger in a minute. Kev, see. Yep. Yeah, I think so. The more he did, the more he did. I'll take that, guys. Raphael guys, happy days. Bring you back. Have a little nod on this, a couple of nods on, just waiting there. 
of any luck, I've got a fish for a seat. Alright, so basically guys, the reason you might have clicked on this video is because the title is How to Up Tide Successfully. So basically, as you can see, we've got a load of tide running through here. Um, and this is news to me, this isn't something I knew. This is, I sort of had an idea, but I can talk properly now. Um, <clears throat> what is that bite on what? Bite, that is a bite, if that's the tide. It pulled the bottom, innit? Anyway, I'll deal with that in a minute. So. You've got a lot of tide running through here. Now, if you cast it out that way, what's going to happen is, what's happened here, and your lead's just going to drag that way. You're never going to hit the bottom. So what you have to do is, cast it up tide, up that way, let loads of line out, loads and loads and loads of line out. The line will bow round, and your lead will grip in. And it's successful, if you know, if you get it in the ground properly. With one of the rods out of the water at the moment, because it's becoming a pain in the bum. Um, I've got a big whole joey on, on a flapper at the minute, so I'm just sort of going for a big, something big, do you know what I mean? What I don't really know at the minute, and I'm pretty sure that's come out the bottom, but it is nodding away, so who knows? I'll check out in a second, but yeah, um, so cast upwards towards the side of the boat, don't go too far that way because you will get your anchor rope, and you could, this is aching successfully. We've got 10 ounces on, big grip of weights. So the ones with the long prongs on and then as it comes up it'll come round and grip in nicely and that my pedigree chum is how you're up tired don't really catch any more fish because i'm yet to catch a fish but there might well be a fish in there don't think it is but it might be um i'm pretty sure that's just it in the bottom and then coming out and then grabbing again but we've got a lot of tide running through at the minute um that's your other white over there portsmouth is over there and the open sea is that way and the sun is shining and everyone was too scared to come out today and have a look at that flat as you like lovely job happy days right so it was a fish guys first fish of the 20 pound class the new black rock that i've got it was nice feels like a skate that's no, what it is that's what it's done right gone right back in the tire you're catching through this tide, you've got no to the tide. The bottom. And that is how you successfully up tide. Turns out I can't catch the fish, just up to get to the boat. Get the net out for the man. The rod's quite nice, though. it's only 50 quid. I was a little bit dubious about it. Right, stand back, stand back, stand back, yep. Yeah. No, 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 move up in the back, you move out the way there. Because you're in the way of me camera in. My name's David Bailey. David Bailey. Nah, eh? That's gone light, it's gone quick from. Do you reckon it's come off? No, no, it's not. No, there. no, it's on there. It's where it's skating up in the air. It's a ray, that is. Got to be. Yeah, yeah. No, it's an eel by the looks of it. No, it can't be. Oh, no, Kev! A fish is a fish at the minute. <laughs> the dog, the dog in loads of tide. The dog in about eight, eight knots of tide, yeah. That is my luck. That's angling anxiety, it's fine. That took a whole mackerel. Unbelievable. Come on, mate, leave him, watch out, let him. That, uh... Come on, mate, got it. Been a bit, people. Been a bit. Yeah, so it's a real rig thing to him. Real, real. Fish on for rock. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? Go steady. Don't break them rods. Is it a Raymond or is it a dog fish? This is Steve's son, Rock. Yeah. I reckon he's got a dogfish. No, that'll a dogfish bite. That's holding deep. Might be a Raymondo. Is it a Ray? It's definitely grey. No, we ain't. <laughs> it's not in a plug, mate. No, that's... You can bring plug rays here. She's a, she's, a, she's a conga. 
See, it's head nodding. Yeah. Can I have a lit? Oh. No, are you still? Still on, isn't it? No, no, no. He was in the bottom, mate. Ah. Oh. Are you on the fish on there? Yeah. Got a dogfish. Dogfish running in the bottom, isn't it? No, there's a fish on there. But you was in the plug, and now you're into the fish. of plum. Sorry. Yeah. Plum. We can accept plum. You oh, know, no. Gear. Yeah, you've got my gear up in English. Yeah, it's nodding, isn't it? It's a doggy, alright. Look at that, look at that blue sky, man. Beautiful, isn't it? Proper lovely day out here today, look at that. The tide's still rushing through. Look. There you go. Dirty Big dog. Old cow. Cod. Whitey. Whitey. The size of that whitey. The size of that whitey. That is a super duper white. <laughs> proper white in that one. Look at that. Lovely white, isn't it? Was. Well, well, well. The white have come out to play. You in, Steve? Play. I don't know, mate. I, don't, I think I had a bite. I'm not too sure. Look at this. Billings go to school is doing the business for everyone else but me. Me and Brock are here just to hunt, hunt dogs. Yeah. We're dog bounty hunters. What do you reckon? Tide or fish? Dog. I don't know, mate. I think, one, I think this is quite hard, this brand. I'm not too sure what's happening. Dog, isn't it? No, dog. Yeah. No, it's hard ground. Yeah, I'm into fish. Yeah, there's a fish here. No, what it is, this bank's got rock on it. Yeah. That's what I am. It's gone, isn't it? Yeah, but mixed ground's good ground. No fish though, is it? No, there's no fish, but still. But, you're into the top. Yeah. Just yeah, in case you've wondered, I've still got no fish. Okay. Just dogfish. <laughs> Flooding through. Right, I'll bring back to a fish. Alright, we've had a little move up, people. And this is another scenario and situation you might come across. So you can see the tide's running again, really fast. Um, We've actually come to deeper water now, so another trick for avoiding lots of tide is bring yourself, if you've got a bank, try and get yourself over the tip of the bank. The shallower the water, the less tides you're going to have running through, basically. So if you're finding deep water, you're going to struggle to anchor. You're not going to struggle to anchor, you'll struggle, mind you, we have struggled to anchor. Um, you'll struggle to hold bottom with your legs. As you can see, if that's holding bottom, lovely. You can also see the sun shining, it's a bloody nice day out here. But yeah. Um, Try and find shortly shallow bits in the banks and things like that. Try to get to the tip of them where the, the, the surface is not so far away from the, um, the top of the bank, and you'll find it a lot easier to anchor, a lot easier to hold bottom. Uh, hold bottom, and remember, cast up that way around here. Get loads of line out, loads of line out, loads of line out. Tighten up, put your spool back over your bail arm. It will tighten up, lovely like that. And that is how you anchor in uh, that is how you up tide in big tides. So happy day. It's been quiet, it's been quite quiet for a little while now. Me and me and Rock have only had one um one dogfish each to be fair. But Steve's had a couple of rows, so this day's not been wasted, he's never had a spotted row before. But yes, for the end is for the days one o'clock now, we're gonna call it, call it a day at about four o'clock, so three hours now and the tide, now, tide is going to start slacking off in a moment so yeah we'll see what happens and fingers crossed we can all get a good fish stays back into the fish the tide is just slackening off now so it should be bite time hopefully for all of us not just steve but we'll accept it just steve oh, how's it feeling steve i think it might be a fish conga mate It's not an it's not a skate, an eel, because the line's not doing a figure of eight. Small eel. It's a spur. It'd be nice, nice, wouldn't it? it? It feels a bit different, to be honest with you. It do feel a bit different, but it feels a bit. We'll find out in a moment. 
a snotty conga. That's where we're about that. Oh, about that, mate. Yeah. Oh, now, they will come on the feet. Yeah, that should be a sure sign. Give me a sneeze, I'll see you behind me. Only little babby. Here's the T-bar. I'll do it, yeah. I've done it, give me it here. A little strap. Chop his towel off, round back in. Oh, very careful. Right, mate. The tiny fish. The tiny, tiny little thing. Get him back in. Rocks into a conga. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> the people's champ. You might have seen him on a pack of fish fingers before. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, bird's eye. Captain Bird's eye. Was he at the strap? Yeah. It's having a little go back, aren't it? I'm surprised we've got heavy gear on. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a stronger rod, isn't it? Nice. It's a spur of the moment spur thing. Spur of the moment thing, yeah. Nice spur of dog. My oh, rod's not stopped bouncing about, it's constant fish after fish. Oh, Dog fish. Watch out, watch out, mate. I've got two steps, or you're on my gear. Pulling me, mate. No, no, that's a bite. That's a definite bite, mate. Turning on there, aren't they? Yeah, you are on my gear, hold on, two minutes, mate. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, you ain't, you ain't, yeah. Right, let me, um, let me get rid of that. Small wheel, small wheel, let me... Right, guys, we are calling it a day very shortly, so I'm going to... Uh... Oh, got, got, got a bite. That's definitely another dogfish, number 79,000. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, I'm going to call it a day. Um, I hope you took something from today, watching. Um, I'm very tired, so if I lack in enthusiasm, this isn't what I normally like if you're a first time watcher. So yeah, happy days. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Check out, check out the social medias uh, and then anxiety. Much love, everyone. Take care.